Hello, my name is Raman Mironov, and this is another recording from my latest webinar about the improvements in Omega-T. And this time I'm going to look at the removed leading and trailing tags option. Actually, this was only a bug fix in the version 301, but since this is so important, I want to explain this in detail. All right, so now I will do this. Project, properties, file filters. Please note that I'm using project-specific filters. This is why I am accessing this function from the project settings. And right now I will enable this option, remove leading and trailing tags. Okay, okay, and then I press enter to reload the project. Okay, please look at this segment. I have the closing tag TO here, and the problem is where the opening where is the opening tag? There is none. Let's see what this tag represents by opening the source file. We see that the, this tag actually represents both formatting that begins at, at the beginning of community and ends at the end of community. So awards is not in bold. So we normally want to keep the same formatting on in the translation. So this will require reversing the word order. So I will need to place the translation of community here and the translation of awards here, like this. The problem is that since I don't have the opening tag, I cannot tell Omega T where to begin applying the formatting. So I can, if I want to end the application of both formatting here, The bold formatting will, of course, apply to the entire translation. And if I place this tag, for example, here, it will not apply to the translation of community, Gemeinschaft at all, which is not what I want. So the only way for me is right now to keep the tag here. And let's see what this results in. I'm going to create translated documents and take a look at the translated file. Of course, the whole translation is highlighted in bold, whereas I want just this. So normally, I would like to avoid this type of situations, and Omega T, since the version 3.0.0, enables me to do this. And to do this, I need to disable the checkbox that I enabled in the very beginning of this video. So I need to go to Project, Properties, and remember that I'm using Project Specific, File Filters, and I need to disable this tag. By disabling it, I ensure that the leading tag that I need in this case, the, the leading means the first tag in the segment, the very first tag, is not removed by a magazine. So I press OK. And I will now also disable the sentence level segmenting. So I disable, I am disabling my segmentation rules and I'm going to explain it a little bit later what this means. Okay, and I reload the project. Scroll down to the segment and bam, here is the tag that I need and actually the translation got inserted from the translation memory of the project. So right now, okay, I'm going for the sake of example, remove the tags 
and put them appropriately. So I'm going to insert the leading tag here and the closing tag is like this. So right now this will give me the result that I need. The bold formatting will only apply to community because Amagity is no longer removing the leading tag, this tag, well as well as the closing tag, the trailing tag, in its terms, I can now apply formatting correctly. And now, the next question is what I should do about the superfluous leading and trailing tags in other segments. As you can see, each segment, almost each segment, now has those superfluous tags. And this is why actually Magity provides this option, because many people would prefer to remove those tags, because they, of course, they, they're not <laughs> too good for translation. For example, in a larger project, you can spend a total of several hours on just those tags because you'll need to place them, or you might delete them and you will then need to restore them. So they take time anyway. And of course you end up with pretty badly segmented segments in your translation memory, which is something that you want normally to avoid because you want the cleanest possible segments in your translation memory. And one reason is that in the next job, well, just look at this example. The the orphan segment didn't have any tags, whereas this segment has them, so it effectively became a fuzzy match. And as you know, fuzzy matches require manual work. So if you work with the stacks displaying and you write the translations in the translation memory with them displaying, you might end up doing this manual work of adjusting fuzzy matches in your next job. So this is something I would definitely want to avoid. So, here is the dilemma. We either display all the tags, including the superfluous tags. These are actually paragraph tags. So this is the beginning of a paragraph and this is the end of a paragraph. And uh, for example, I can show you this. This is a paragraph, right? So this is the first sentence of a paragraph and this is the second. And these two tags denote the beginning and the end of the paragraph. And so we either display all the tags, including the ones that we don't need and the ones that we need, or we enable the checkbox, remove leading and trailing tag, and end up deleting everything, including the tags that we need, like this leading tag here. So now I am going to show you how I deal with this dilemma. Of course, disabling the tags, removing them is not an option for me because, of course, sometimes I need those tags to rearrange them in the translation. So this is definitely not an option. But I also do not want them in my segments and to remove them from the segments. I use segmentation rules. Now, as I promised, I'm going to explain the segmentation rules and right now I am enabling my segmentation rules back. Okay, and I reload the project. Bam! As you see, the tags get extracted out of the segments. The segments are clean now. All the tags ended up out of the segments, outside of the segments. And 
And now I will show you the rules that do this. Of course, they those rules are not like final truths. They might be improved, and I have to adjust them from time to time. So again, please note that I'm using project-specific segmentation. All right, these are, of course, in the default rules. And here are the rules. This rule removes the leading tags, and this one removes the trailing tags. I'm not going to explain them right now because this is quite technical, but basically I'm just telling the MegaT to remove the, remove the tags that are in the beginning of a segment. Here I denote the beginning of a segment, and here I, I, tell, I use a regular expression to tell a MegaT that this is the end of the segment, and then I segment the tags out. So this is actually looks quite good. I end up with more segments, yeah, but I'm fine with this because actually I prefer to have clean segments and I'm ready to pay this price for them. And now one drawback of this approach, which I have to live with because I, I don't, as I said, <laughs> The other option, removing all the text, is definitely not an option for me. Okay, back to our segment. As you see, of course, in this case, the leading tag that I need in my translation, remember, got extracted out of the segment too. And what I need to do now is create a counter segmentation rule that will get it back into the segment. And this is how I do it. So I'm going to copy this tag simply. Then I go to my segmentation rules. And here I have this section of rules called quick fix rules. And because it has this language pattern, it has it takes priority over all the rules. And basically any rule that I add here will will have priority over the rules below it including this rule the that extracts the leading and trailing tags and therefore it's going to prevent this tag from being extracted out of the segment and here's how I do it I click add I'm not enabling this checkbox because I want, of course, to merge two segments. The pattern before is, of course, the tag. And the pattern after is simply community. All right, again, I'm not enabling the checkbox because I want to merge the tag and community right here. Then I press OK, OK, and enter to reload the project. And of course, the tag is back in the segment. All right, so these are the two main options of working with the remove leading and tags option, leading and trailing tags. Guys, I hope that I made this distinction clear because it is so important. And uh, just to reiterate, I think that this option should not be enabled. So I, r I highly recommend, based on my experience, to disable this option and try to work with the tags like I do. That means if you're fine with them, you can leave them in the segments, but if you're not, you need to use the segmentation rules to extract them 
out of the segments and then you add counter rules to get them back into the segments. All right. If you are if you have any questions about this, feel free to contact me at any time and I will be happy to help you with setting up the segmentation rules or writing up segmentation counter rules to get tags back into the segment and I'm also looking forward to receiving your feedback about this approach because I'm always on the lookout for improving it. All right, thank you. Take care.